द इंटरनेट इज फुल ऑफ नेसेयर्स एंड नेगेटिव पीपल येस यू हॉट मी राइट दिस सोसाइटी इज फुल ऑफ नेगेटिव पीपल वेर एवर यूल गो पीपल विल से दिस इज नॉट गॉट स्कोप दैट इज गॉट नो फ्यूचर दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू वर्क आउट दैट्स हाउ इट वर्क बट वेन यू कम टू बायो टेक्निका वन थिंग वी आर वेरी श्योर ऑफ इस वी आर गोइंग टू मेक योर करियर वर्क दैट्स माई प्रॉमिस एंड दैट इज वाई डे इन डे आउट वी कीप कमिंग अप विथ न्यूअर वीडियोज न्यूअर टॉपिक्स विच विल बी ऑफ ग्रेट वैल्यू टू यू वन सच टॉपिक टूडे इज इंटर्नशिप्स well many of you apply for biotech internships or internships in biotech and pharma companies on a daily basis but if this is the first time you're going to apply then this is the video which you should look for now to start with you have to know one thing very clearly if you don't take action after listening to this video there will be absolutely zero changes in your life so you have to note down whatever i'm going to say and take action once you take action once you have the actionable insights from this video once you take action you will see internships coming in your life and your career transforming yes you heard me right internships are a transformation and a great transition in your career so it is very important to strategize and go into that company which you dream of okay and that is why I have around ten points today for you. The first one among them is research the biotech industry. Now, very rarely people do that. They they will just apply in the top three or top seven companies, right, or top ten companies. But don't you think that all these top ten companies get application from everyone else also, right? And that is where majority students make a mistake. your chances of getting an internship opportunity in biocon or syngen is lesser than on a smaller company which is doing a similar project because nobody knows it nobody is applying it there right so that is where research the biotech industry increase and enhance your chances of getting the uh, internship now whenever i have to say that you have to also remember that biotech industry is under a reflux or a flux it keep constantly moving it's dynamic right so what exists as a internship today can become a full time job tomorrow so if you have re researched it well if you have uh, done it properly you will be able to get the right internship and that is where i am telling you one in insight for you and that is don't apply in big companies apply in smaller companies chances of getting acceptance is higher bigger companies one shot you will not never get an internship maybe some rare guy who has got a lot of references will get but if you don't have any references you know you don't know anybody which is the majority case apply in smaller companies right you should know this there are more than 376 biotech companies in india small medium large right you can apply in many of these many biotech companies are just one person company like a one scientist who is doing the research and has started his own company so he really needs helping hands he needs interns right i know so many of them right so and they don't have the resources to go and post their internship anywhere right so what you have to do is approach them right so that's the first point research the biotech industry second point polish your resume right every morning when we get uh, get up and go for college or school or uh, you know office we polish our shoes right the same way polish your resume you have to know this that majority of the companies don't want to train you because that's a wastage of their time they were not remember this that they were not created to train you they were created to create a dent in the universe there with their product so if they have to now train you for microscopy or spectrophotometry or lcms or hplc or pcr they'll really feel frustrated and irritated right so straight away you'll get rejected if you don't have those skills so first gain the skills and then polish your resume highlight those skills right so suppose you want to get into the bioanalytical industry so you need to have the bioanalytical tools ready bioanalytical skills ready and then when you will go, go and apply for the internship that your chances of acceptance is higher so whatever is your area of interest first gain that knowledge and then polish your resume so that's the second point moving on to the third point the third point is as important as the second point and that personally i feel is more important and that is tailor make your cover letter you know personally speaking whenever i have to uh, hire someone i will first read the cover letter not the cv 
Why? Because to me and to majority of the recruiters, communication skills matters, written skills matters, the convincing skills matters, right? Presentation skills matters. So whenever somebody is applying, I will or and definitely all the recruiters will look at these skills first. Before jumping into your CV or resume, they will see wh what kind of cover letter you have written, whether you are really interested or not. Right? If that interest reflects in your words, you are definitely going to get more interest and more time spent on your CV compared to anyone, anyone else. Right? And that is where as soon as your CV starts just below your name and your phone number, you can mention the skills which you have. So those keywords, LC, MS, HP, LC, PCR, whatever it is, you can mention. So as soon as they open the CV, they will see, okay, these are the keywords. These keywords suit my profile. Okay, select it. That's how fast it does, right? So polish your resume and then tailor make your cover letter. Let's move on to the fourth point. Now, the fourth point is, again, very important. In fact, super important for you. You have to build a network. And that network is not your just the classmates or teacher. It should be so so vast that if you just go on LinkedIn and say that, hey guys, I'm looking for an internship, can someone help? There should be a barrage of people commenting that, hey, you can go there, you can go there. That's the power of network and networking. So when you will get, and how would you get this? There's a first formula here is becoming active on internet, first thing. You have to be active on LinkedIn, you have to connect with more people and you have to leverage their network. It's like, you, you make your own network and then you can leverage their network. So for example, uh, I have built a strong network. So you can connect with me and then whenever you have a requirement, you can let me know. I can post it in my network and whoever is in, uh, you know, whoever can come and help you will definitely uh, come in there. So that's where leveraging your network matters. And you should know this, that your teachers are the best source of network. Your HOD is the best source of, because they would have in, got industry experience and academy and experience of several years. Uh, I am your best source of network. Your classmates are your future network. So make sure that you have a very good reputation with your classmates because, you know, uh, 20 years down the line, many of your classmates will be sitting on top notch by the companies as, as scientists. So you can reach out to them and leverage your network and get advantage. So networking is like your Red Bull. It really gives you wings. So remember this. Leverage your network. That's the fourth point. Let's move on to the fifth point now. Now, the fifth point is obviously preparing for interviews. Now, most of us in our bachelor's or master's are very scared people. We are really not open people. We don't like going out and talking to strangers, right? So that is where we're not trained for interviews, right? The max we know is some technical uh, language we can speak. So when we go to an interview, we really don't leverage our communication skills, soft skills, and we just start talk, talking, you know, technical jargons. But that is not how interviews are conducted in the biotech industry. You have to prepare for it extensively. You have to, you know, probably find out the questions. In fact, for most of the jobs now we post on Biotechnica below that we'll post the probable questions which they will ask you. Those questions you have to practice. You can ask your friend. You can ask me this question. I'll try to answer. So the more you prepare for the interviews, your chances of getting accepted is very high. Now, one very important thing most of the uh, interns forget is they feel that, okay, if I just go and say something, they'll hire me. No, it will not happen. Remember, industry does not want to hire freshers. So why do why would they hire a fresher as an intern? They want somebody who's a ready-made product, right? They don't want to bake the cake. They want the cake. So you have to become that cake. So you have to prepare for your interviews in advance. You can ask your HOD to conduct mock interview. You can ask your teachers to conduct. In fact, Biotechnica also conducts a lot of mock interviews for students. You can participate there and that will definitely help you in the internship interview uh, system whenever you apply. So this is fifth point. Let's move on to the sixth point now. now the sixth point, like I have already told you, is soft skills. Interpersonal skills, leadership skills, communication skills, your ability to collaborate, your, your ability to convince, your ability to learn faster, your ability to reproduce data in a better way, your ability to analyze data in a better way. All of this comes together in soft skills. In fact, there are many more. So you will have to strengthen your soft skills. And why is that? Because everyone else has got the technical skills. But when you have the technical skills plus soft skills, you become more lucrative, more attractive to the recruiter compared to others. Remember, people who only those people who, uh, you know, will get selected, those who have the 
right magnetism in them and soft skills is the real magnetism magnetic force which will attract people towards you so you have to showcase your soft skills in your cv during your talking during your question answering sessions and you have to practice soft skills extensively in fact we have done several courses on biotechnica if you want to opt for you can go to biotechnica stores and you can find out soft skills or communication skills networking skills um, uh, courses that will definitely help you out there now let's move on to the seventh point now the seventh point now is seek professional development opportunities now Generally, when you have not got the internship, you are not one step behind internship, you are three steps behind internship. The first step is preparing yourself. That is where this professional development opportunities comes in. The second will be obviously applying and third will be passing through the interview. So professional development opportunities, what are those? Participating in online or offline workshops, internships, uh, events, conferences, dissertations, Poster presentations, speaking opportunities, article writing opportunities, whatever it is. If you, you know, participate here in all these professional development opportunities, whenever you will go to apply for any job or internship, you can highlight these things, which will not be there for others, right? And that will attract the uh, attention of the rec recruiter that, okay, this person seems to be very active compared to others. Others are just lame and lazy and deaf to the market demands while well, this person has done so many new things ap apart from the regular things which everybody does and that will attract them that will make them you know select you faster and um, than compared to others so that's where professional development opportunities that is certification courses workshops internships dissertations poster presentations article writing uh, extempore debates discussion online offline all that right so that will definitely help you so that's my uh, eighth point now let's move on to the next one the next one for you is stay updated with the latest news and the job opportunities in the industry now there are two things i told you news and job opportunities so what is running right now in the news is it the crispr is it the ngs is it the research paper whatever is whatever new research is coming up you have to read the second thing is what kind of job opportunities are being posted what kind of projects are coming up in that project? What kind of skills they are asking for? So when you are aware of all of this, then you can uh, beforehand prepare yourself and then apply. Your chances of selection is higher. So that's your uh, point where I wanted to tell, highlight, stay up to date with the latest news opportunities and the job description and skills required in these job opportunities. Let's move on to the next point. The next point is stay persistent and be resilient. Now, you have to know this. There are more than 400, suppose, biotech companies. You'll apply everywhere, suppose, and you will get rejections. When you get rejections, you feel bad. You feel like I should not have applied. I should not apply. I will never get it. This is how we, uh, it feels when you feel when you get rejected. But you're forgetting one very important point that out of 400 companies, you need to get a yes from only one company, right? I One company says yes, you got selected, right? So that's where you have to be persistent. You have to... Uh, continuously try, keep trying and keep looking for opportunities whether it is biotechnica or linkedin or any other job portals wherever the internships are being posted keep an eye apply and make sure that your cover letter is custom made and make make sure your resume is having the right skill sets highlighted so that is where you have to be persistent and resilient in your approach towards applying for internships now last point which is very important is many students just apply and then forget about it and expect people to reply. You have to know this, that the people who are there in the industry, like recruiters or the people who are scientists or who are actually recruiting, they're very busy people. They have their own real daytime job. Hiring interns is, is their like a side project. So they may forget. They may forget to check the in inbox altogether. So when you follow up, when you reach out, when you ask what happened to my application, uh, when can I come for the interview? When you politely reach out, probably they'll re realize, okay, I missed out on this and they'll go back and check your CV. This has happened to me. This happens to many of the uh, people that they forget that they had posted an internship opportunity and they really need to recruit. So they posted it and they got busy in their regular research work. And then they realized after two weeks that, oh, I had to you know, uh, recall these ca uh, candidates for internship interview. So that is where you need to follow up. So I think I gave you some quick 10 pointers about how to apply and top 10 tips for first-time applicants for internships. 
However, sky is the limit. There are much many more pointers in my mind right now as I speak, but definitely I cannot include everything in this video. Otherwise, it will become very long. So what I can suggest to you is you can always subscribe to Biotechnica on our newsletter, in our website and app, as well as Telegram channel and of course YouTube, so that you'll get all of this and much more news and updates about the biotech industry. All at one place, Biotechnica. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you all the best for your internship. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.